For those of you who saw the PBS Democratic debate, the sixth one of this cycle, you'll know that the mayor, who I like to refer to as Buddha Trash, had probably the worst performance out of anyone on that stage. Uh, he was confronted over his donor whoring, and it's it, it just it was a bad night for him in particular. Even people like Klobuchar and Styron Biden, who I have no affinity for, easily performed better than he did. But because we live in a Twilight Zone type of world, you have individuals like Michael Starr Hopkins, who will spin it to make it seem as if, no, you got that wrong. Buddha Trash did good. Now, just a little bit of background information on Hopkins. He was a Democratic presidential campaign member for Obama, Hillary, and currently Delaney, or rather out of the current group of candidates, Delaney. So that should let you know why Mr. Center Left has the, the view that he does. But let's read his article. With the Iowa caucuses only weeks away, seven Democratic candidates stood on the debate stage in California and alleviated the concerns of primary voters. And what many have expected to be another forgettable debate Pete Buttigieg rose to the occasion and took advantage of his front-runner treatment. He not only managed to defend himself against attacks, but also landed the types of blows that have evaded his run. Make no mistake, the seven candidates did a fine job, but only one was able to successfully separate himself from the other Democrats on stage and bring new voters to his fray. That candidate happened to be <gasps> Buttigieg. For all the hand-wringing and consternation from many Democrats on whether the South Bend mayor was prepared for the bright lights, his performance in the latest debate could perhaps silence even his most ardent critics. Buddha Trash did not simply defend his record from attacks by Elizabeth Warren and Amy Klobuchar. He responded in an authentic tone that has evaded his past debate performances and has been the missing ingredient in a campaign that sorely needed a breakout moment. As he did earlier this year, Buddha Trash has exceeded expectations and seems like the type of change candidate Democrats have been searching for. While far from perfect, he seemed like a leader. He looked like a leader on a stage that included a former vice president and several senators. Some thought this feat, given his age and the optics, might be impossible for a candidate who has only held local office. But all those concerns were put to bed after his debate performance, while a lot of work must be done to tighten his message and take his candidate take his campaign to the next level. It is undeniable that the mayor from a relatively small town in Indiana, with little national exposure this time last year, came across as the steady hand that is needed to defeat President Trump in what will most certainly be an ugly general election. I was actually going to comment, and I'm, that's about half of the article, I was going to comment that they're over here bragging about, oh my God, Buddha Trash, he's around all these senators and a vice president, he's standing toe to toe. Well, what about Yang? He's doing the exact same thing. But to Hopkins' credit, he does mention Yang a little bit further down, so I, I can't go after him for that. I just, I'm, I'm thinking about this line right here. He's exceeded expectations and seems like the type of change candidate that Democrats have been searching for. You literally have a guy who says, we don't need free school because it will also make it available for rich students, even though it's still not known if, they're, if they themselves are rich or if their parents are rich and they're just being counted under their umbrella, <sighs> who wants a public option, which... It's still just a tweak of what we already have. And this is the change candidate. This is the person who's going to make a difference. Like, I really wish these media people would just think about this. For, and they, they know the truth. They just don't want to admit it. When you have people who are literally running on the idea of, I like what that other person is saying, but we can't do that because X, Y, and Z. How are they changed? All of these Democrats, except for Warren Sanders, Gabbard, and Yang, are making the exact same mistake Hillary made in the general. They're trying to appeal to both sides in a lot of cases, while also standing for nothing and pissing everyone off in the, in the midst of that. 
Like you've had clips of Buddha trash talking about. I think we shouldn't talk about policy. The this this uh, test. It's like the test is there that the push to get a candidate who reflects the values of the voters because people are sick of having little con artists like Buddha Trash or Obama or you can go even further back uh, basically being able to get away with being an empty suit and then when they get in office they get screwed over because the person was never standing for anything to begin with. It's really not hard to figure this out but like I said you have people like Hopkins who will take someone like the mayor who stands for nothing who none of his supporters have been able to tell me a specific proposal of his other than being against Trump. And like they, they'll really believe these are people that should be voted for. This is a person who, whose ideology went out of style 20 years ago. All the vague answers to things, all of the denials of progressive positions, just you know, get out of here. So Twilight Zone article by a uh, neoliberal, what do you expect?